Hey guys, this is Randy. I wanted to go over a, a, a few quick tips on using the trading room uh, as we've had uh, you know, quite a few you know, people come on board recently. Uh, it's easy to, to miss things that are posted within the trading room or um, in my case, you know, comments that uh, or questions to me that get buried um, that I miss and, and might not get back to you on if I haven't seen it. So let me give a, a few quick tips. Uh, I think just about everybody can benefit the, from these. Some of these, some of these features are being used by some, um, but I, th I have a feeling a lot of these um, you just aren't really clear how to how to really find it and most efficiently find what you're looking for on the site. So uh, here in the trading room, as you can see, you may not have all these tabs. Uh, 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 under the uh, the uh, what do you call it the text input field here, um, but uh, you can sort. The default is to sort the activity stream by all members. If you don't click anything else, you're going to see that we don't have anywhere close to 1,800 members. That's just a number of everyone that's registered for the site. In the past every now and then I'll purge out some of the old accounts. So every now and then somebody says, "Wow, 1,800 members." No, not 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 close. But uh, that will sort by all the members. Anybody who's active with a gold membership. Uh, or a free trial basis when that's going on, they can get into the trading room. So uh, you're, you know, when their market conditions are uh, very volatile, like they have been recently, you're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of post, and then it's easy to miss things. So uh, I'll give you a few quick tips. So the first would be uh, following. And to follow, to follow somebody, let's just say here's the most recent post, Hunter J. Uh, I click on Hunter J, and I can click either on the their gravatar, which is an image. If somebody uploads an image, uh, you click right there. It'll bring you into their profile or click right there. Uh, so Hunter J, not to pick on you. Actually, you can see this example. Um, it, there's a couple ways. I can click right here, follow, and then, uh, of course, I'll be following Hunter J. And therefore, when I sort the activity stream by follow, uh, I'll see Hunter J's post there. All right, so uh, I can also, from anybody's uh, profile, I can click it to add a friend. Now, that's a friend request. Uh, Hunter J, whoever you click on, will have to accept that friendship, and then you can follow them that way. You can send them. If you do a public message, it will just, uh, and I wanted to get to this. This is important. It'll it'll uh, start with the little at sign there and their username, um, and, uh, and that will then give them a notification. This is very important. I get a lot of one of the biggest, I think, the best value of a gold membership, other than getting in the trading room and hearing from other traders, other perspective sharing ideas is I'm here if, if, or anybody else but if you want a chart request from me specifically you want my opinion on a, on a position or some price targets on something or trading related question um, you can ask in the trading room however there's a good chance I will miss that especially when things are busy right now you know I can't be in the trading room all day I'm doing my own trades I'm composing videos I'm studying charts I'm in and out and uh, when when there's like a lot of activity things get buried so uh, by clicking public message uh, and I do prefer the chart request uh, I know some people might be a little shy to post in the trading room and if if that is the case you don't want to do it fine send me a private message and I'll, I'll do that but it's preferable um, if you can post it in the uh, tr uh, publicly in the trading room room um, because there is a very good chance that somebody else if they don't already have a, a position or are interested in that stock or ETF uh, they may be once they see the chart so uh, it's it's advantageous to all if I can share chart requests in the trading room so you know you have anonymity uh, in in using your um, a, a username there uh, nobody really knows who you are uh, unless you want to share your information, which is never a good idea online. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, so that's public message, of course, private message, and then block. Let's just say um, you don't find uh, a member's um, post useful. Maybe they're just a different type of trading style. For whatever reason, you don't want to see what they post. Just block them, and they will go on a block list. I'll do, do that now. I'll unblock. I'll show you how it works. Uh, it's kind of weird because I'm following and uh, I'm blocking, so I don't know how that works. <laughs> Usually you wouldn't do both. Okay, so now Hunter J is blocked. So when we go back to the trading room, and I'll unblock you here in a second. Uh, when you go back to the trading room, you'll now see uh, that post, which was the last one I'm doing this after hours, is now missing. Uh, so that would block also uh, any replies or anything else there. You can see there, block member comment. Uh, so you know that there's something there. And if you want to, you can always unblock anybody at any time. The way to do that, 
uh, is you can, I believe you can just click on that link and it will show your block list. But let me show you another way as well. Come into your profile here, go down to settings, blocked members, and it will show you whoever you have blocked. Now I'm not, I don't have anybody blocked because uh, I'd like to obviously see, you know, field questions from everybody. That's what I'm here for. And I like to get a feel of what's going on and I find, you know, just about all analysis useful. I may not agree with everything, but uh, I like to get other opinions. So either way, now I've unblocked uh, Hunter J. Go back to the trading room. And there it is. All right. And again, so if you don't want to scroll down and, and catch up on everybody, and you can always toggle between this, follow whoever you want to follow. If you click on following, then that will sort whoever. Now, I, I follow, I, I look at everyone. I Early on, I clicked a few names. I don't follow, I, I don't even sort by following because I want to see everything in the trading room. But you have that option. As a member, I would rec highly recommend that, uh, especially if you have you know some favorites. Um, go ahead, just again, click on their username, follow them, and then you can sort there. Uh, same thing, friends. If somebody, you send a friendship request and they accept it, you can send it that way. And then there's a way to message friends and all that uh, stuff. Um, groups. Groups is a big one. Um, there are, uh, you can join any or all, and I would suggest any of these groups that you might be interested in, um, go ahead and join. To join a group, simply click on it. Let's click on dividend and income investing. And now I'm already, uh, I'm a group admin. I'm already, I've already joined the group. You'll get an option here to join the group. It'll give you a description of what the group is about somewhere up here towards the top right there and click join group. And then once you join the group, you'll see that uh, right now I have an email status set to a weekly summary. I can change that. Let me show you my email options. Um, so there's really three ways here to get uh, email notifications on the site. One of those is through groups. Now, if you join a group, I believe the default is no email, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you'll see when you go in there. Um, but you have an option to receive uh, either no emails anytime something new is posted. Do not send me an email. Send me a weekly summary. Great for the person who's not a very active trader, but just at the end of the week wants to catch up for everything in, let's say, gold mining or commodities or swing trading. Uh, daily digest. You want it a little bit more often than once a week. The, the weekly, I believe, goes out end of day Friday, late Friday. Uh, or all email, which will send you as soon as something's posted within a group, a top level or a comment or reply. Um, there is an issue that's been we've had for a little while here where some of these uh, some people are not getting the immediate uh, notifications from groups right away. Uh, we were working on that and then got sidetracked with some other issues on the site, the program I had working on it. I, that's something I plan to have them to actually work on either over the holidays here, uh, right when uh, we open up back up in January. Not a whole lot happens over the next week or so. So if you are experiencing a delay in the um, the time that these are, are, from the time these posts are made to the time they hit your inbox, uh, know that it is a known issue and some people are having them. We'll work that out soon. So I, I highly recommend this. And again, when you go back to the uh, once you've joined the groups, uh, remember these groups, uh, I, there's not a way to assign a post to more than one group. Uh, so if you are interested at all, let's say, for example, uh, almost anybody here would probably be interested in swing trading ideas. Your longer term investors or somebody looking for growth and income investments might like this category. Um, some people might like, you know, like to trade the gold mining stocks, but keep in mind, um, trying to, I've been looking in to see if there's a way to select multiple categories. Right now, if I type a post, if I do, you know, here's a trade idea, a trade idea on GDX, and then I upload a chart, click right here, and I can upload a chart off the computer. If maybe it's a video, uh, if you do have a video that you want to share, whether it's YouTube or from another site, use this link. It, it just it, it, it puts in a cleaner format on the uh, trading room. And if you have a link to an article, go ahead and post that there. You can give you a preview. Uh, and if you don't have anything, uh, you can just write your notes and then select the group. This field will populate. As you join these groups, you'll have these options. So I could then select to uh, post that in the, um, where did I say that was a, uh, well, that's the thing. I can either do it in precious metals and miners, or I could post it in uh, swing trading because that could also be a swing trading idea. And that's why I would encourage you to join whatever groups you might be interested in. Um, 
I, I may may consolidate these down to just keep it simple. Maybe something along the lines of, you know, dividend and income or long-term investing, swing trading, and day trading. But there are um, groups for forex trading, options tradings, futures. There's not a lot of activity there. But the thing is, I do see a lot of trade ideas on on you know some traders that actively use options, credit spreads, things like that. And they're posted and they're not assigned to a group. Now, that's great. But you keep in mind, it's getting lost down. If you post that uh, 8 o'clock or you know, 9.30 this morning and then someone comes in here after hours and they're trying to catch up, they, they may not see that. That may get buried. Um, so the more people use these groups, I believe the more active um, the group will become. And, and there's probably quite a few. I know there are quite a few traders that trade options and futures. Uh, so if that's your main trading vehicle, if you use a group, the more you use it, the more others will come in. And then you may have eventually one day have a very you know effective, efficient uh, group of you know traders that you can connect with uh, that. And that's your thing. Uh, so, again, I encourage you, if that is your niche, to go ahead and use those groups. And then once you have a group, you know, as you can see right here, if you want to, you can sort the activity stream to only see posts and comments that were made in your group. Um, all the groups that you've joined. Again, you maybe have two groups, maybe you have all 11. Uh, you can sort them that way. So there it is. Sort by following, friends. Uh, you can favor a post, any post if you like it. Uh, click right here, favorite, and then you can reference that later. Um, anytime you're mentioned, that's the other thing I wanted to uh, talk about before. Um, I can, every now and then I'm scrolling down and I'll see a post that will say, uh, hey, Randy, what do you think of this or that? Great if I see it, but I can tell you when when market activity is busy as it has been, a lot of high volatility lately, a lot of things moving. There there are a lot of posts in the trading room every day, and I spend most of my time combing through charts, uh, studying uh, the charts, putting together videos, annotating charts or trade ideas, replying to questions. So I'm in and out of the trading room. If you want to get my attention or anybody's attention. Tag their use. Tag their username. Mine is R O S uh, R S O T C. Right side of the chart. Excuse me. And if you do that, uh, then it will give me a notification. And if it's anywhere in the post, you can even put it under a comment section if it's under there. Uh, and what happens when you tag anybody with their username? At that point, they will get a notification up here. This blue, you'll have a little blue bubble, and these are all the notifications. Uh, you can go down here and break it down by uh, notifications or private messages. Go to your inbox. And another benefit here is you can go into here, and I'd recommend this for everybody. Go into settings, email. And now what this will do, these are not the email settings for the front page posts that I make. Those are the front page posts, our official trade ideas, any market analysis that I think is relevant, a lot of the videos that I put out there, um, all member only content and public content. Uh, when you sign up for right side of the chart, you are automatically subscribed to the front page new post notifications unless you've un uh, unsubscribed or opted out of that. Um, but if you want to, if you're using the trading room, if you're a gold member, you plan to stay after your free trial period, come in here as again, again, go to hover on your username, go down to settings, go to email, and you can see, uh, you can set to receive an email and they're going to use the email address you have on the account, which you can change. I don't want to go too far off topic. If you have a question on how to change that, let me know. I can tell you real quick. It's under your profile, I believe. You can go in there and change your email. Um, and then you want to receive a notification every time somebody mentions you, uh, replies to a comment or an update you're in, gives you a private message, friendship request. Uh, any group activity, uh, you can do that as well. So uh, something I recommend to take advantage of. So there's really three ways to receive email notifications on the site. The front page posts, which you should be getting unless you wanted opt opted out of that. Those are from me only, and they're usually trade. They're all the official trade ideas, unofficial trade ideas, things like that on the front page. This is all for the trading room activity. And then, of course, we just went over groups as well. And the groups are within the trading room, but again, they have their own little uh, separate format there. Okay, and that, that's pretty much it. I wanted to keep this one relatively short. There's some of the tutorials are over here. Uh, the block function, I just re-added back, so I don't have a link for that yet, but I showed you how to block another member. 
um, and really, again, yeah, use this most efficiently. If you have <clears throat> in any time, whether it's you know two days ago or two weeks ago, two months ago, if you asked me a question and I didn't get back to you on that, a chart request or anything else, uh, by all means, just bump me again. Um, I'm not, I don't ignore anybody. I, there's no such thing as a tough question. Throw it out there, uh, and I will answer it. That's what that's what I'm here for. So again, to make sure I get it, uh, ideally do it. Uh, publicly, if it's a chart opinion, um, that way others can can uh, may benefit or any trading related question. Um, and if you're you know prefer not to post anything publicly, you can certainly private message me again. Click on my username or gravatar image, and then go to the private messaging function, and I'll get back to you that way. All right, so that's it. And if you guys, as always, if you have any questions, just uh, reach out and. Um, you know, shoot me uh, either use a contact form or ask me in the trading room or if, you know, if it's off topic or anything like that, you can shoot me a private message on that as well. All right, guys, this has been Randy Finney with Right Side of the Chart. Thanks a lot.